हेलो वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग फर्स्ट क्लास फॉर क्लास इलेवेंथ दैट इज पाइथन इंट्रोडक्शन सो इन दिस वी विल सी व्हाट इज पाइथन एंड व्हेन इट वाज इन्वेंटेड हु हैज इन्वेंटेड इट हु हैज क्रिएटेड इट हु हैज डेवलप्ड इट फर्स्ट एंड इट्स एडवांटेज दिस एडवांटेज from which languages it has been developed all these things we will study in the introduction of python so what is python you can see as we know that in order to communicate with computer system computer mein agar aap koi computer se communicate karna chahte hain to hame ek language ki zarurat padti hai hum dusre ke sath communicate karna chahte hain to we require some language to communicate like uh, you require english hindi french japanese to start uh, communicating with others who understand that particular language so similarly to communicate with computer system we should have some particular computer language like c c++ java python and all so python is also a type of computer language you might have listen various types of languages which has gone obsolete java c c++ like that python is also a sort of language python was developed by guido van rossum in 1991 when he was working with national research institute of mathematics and science in netherland so he is uh, guido van rossum Python was named from comedy series Monty Python's Flying Circus. This is the banner of Monty uh, Python's Flying Circus. So after he this circus name, uh, the language Python has been kept. I mean nomenclature. Okay, so Python was named from the comedy series Monty Python's Flying Circus, telecasted on BBC. It was first telecasted on BBC. तो उसके नाम पर इस सर्कस में पाइथन आया था दैट इज वाई गाइडो वन रॉसम ने क्या किया इसका नाम इस लैंग्वेज का नाम पाइथन रख दिया ओके अदरवाइज देयर इज नो स्नैक लाइक एनीथिंग यू शुड नॉट फाइट विथ स्नैक एंड ऑल द सिंबल इज लुकिंग लाइक स्नैक बट नीड नॉट टू अफ्रेड ऑफ स्नैक्स इट इज ए कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज next uh, you can see actually python is based on two languages in those days there was a abc language uh, which was uh, quite similar to basic language which was an optional language of basic language and uh, modula 3 ye dono language thi us samay 1991 mein so combining the coding and concept of these two languages python have been introduced by guido understand so the base of uh, python is abc language and modula 3 these were also two languages at that time thereafter python's features it is very easy to understand expressive you can express uh, your code properly free and open source it can freely be downloaded from python.org high level language like other c c++ java and all so portable the code can be ported from one platform to another platform that is why it is portable language hmm portable means the code can be ported from one language to another language as well as uh, its uh, exe file can be converted and then it can be run on any platform without the python interpreter thereafter uh, object oriented object oriented is a big term in which there are objects and classes functions methods uh, right so this is a big term uh, it cannot be taught uh, within a while but like we see uh, around the world we see various types of objects and uh, those objects are uh, Uh, be, those objects belongs to some class that is they belongs to some group say for example if i say potato tomato and all these 
so they belong to a class vegetable similarly mango guava and uh, banana etc they belong to some class vegetable uh, these are the objects that exist around us in the real world so the same concept has been taken for object oriented programming there also there are uh, groups called as classes and uh, then various uh, set of objects out of those classes those objects are created so uh, these are the objects which uh, performs our task in one way or other directly or indirectly you can say so it is object oriented programming language extensible uh, it is extendable that means uh, number of libraries can be added or we is me libraries add ki ja sakti hain because it is open source so number of programmers are sitting and uh, uh, adding their code into uh, the existing language embeddable it can be embedded in uh, some other language also interpreted isme ek interpreter kaam karta hai uh, translator ka to uh, so any any programming language are uh, based on two types of task i mean two types of uh, language processors either interpreter or compiler so here uh, python uses interpreter in which uh, the input is taken and uh, at a uh, code is taken and at once uh, each and every line gets executed and you get the output compile in compiler uh, based languages uh, first it compiles the whole program then only it gets the result here each and every line is interpreted and then and there only the result is displayed output is given ek ek line ye execute karta hai aur wahi ka wahi uska output deta rehta hai ye aapka interpreter type languages hoti hain large standard libraries it has collection of libraries uh, that is why it has become very popular number of libraries libraries ka matlab hota hai collection of modules to bahut sare pre made modules hain aur unka hame khali istemal karna hai aur unhe call karna hai our task is done it has gui programming also not only text based programming but also gui graphical user interface tk enter ek यहाँ पर लाइब्रेरी है उसके थ्रू आप जो है जी बेस्ड प्रोग्रामिंग कर सकते हैं जी का मतलब आप जो है टेक्स्ट बॉक्स बटन मेन्यू और कमांड बटन टेक्स्ट एरिया कॉम्बो बॉक्स लिस्ट बॉक्स एट्सेट्रा यू कैन ड्रॉ एंड आई मीन दीज आर द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ बेसिक कंपोनेंट्स और बेसिक जी वाई कंट्रोल्स थ्रू विच प्रोग्रामिंग इज डन एंड user gives the input within these controls and uh, see the output uh, within uh, certain controls so dynamically typed language hai ye kafi dynamic hai aur in a number of sense it is dynamic language so let us proceed to next slide now advantage of python you can see advantages of python uh platform independent uh, platform independent means it is a platform independent and can run across different platforms like windows linux mac os os x and uh, other operating system as we can say it is a, a portable language uh, readability another topic is readability uh, python programs use clear simple concise and uh, english like instructions that are very easy to read and understand even by non programmers or people those who are not uh, well uh, uh, i mean uh, aware of the programming language they can also understand the codes of uh, python language very easily it is not so difficult object oriented programming language as i told you earlier also higher productivity means since python is a simple language with small codes and uh, extensive libraries it offers uh, higher productivity isme bahut sari libraries hain aur chote codes hote hain in comparison of previous languages so that is why it uh, offers higher productivity to programmer as compared to languages like c++ and java so we can write less and get more done so next one is less learning time it takes uh, because of uh, simple and shorter code lesser time is required to understand and learn python programming 
एंड देन जी यू आई प्रोग्रामिंग जी यू आई प्रोग्रामिंग मीन्स ग्राफिकल यूजर इंटरफेस है टेकिंग वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ कंट्रोल्स लाइक टेक्स्ट फील्ड आपने देखा होगा जब आप कोई गूगल पे फॉर्म वगैरह भरते हो तो उसमें टेक्स्ट फील्ड भी आता है रेडियो बटन आता है चेक बॉक्स आता है लिस्ट बॉक्स आता है कॉम्बो बॉक्स आता है सो यूजिंग दो दो कंट्रोल्स यूजर इज कैपेबल ऑफ गिविंग इनपुट एंड हैविंग द आउटपुट इन वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ कंट्रोल्स सो जी यू आई इज मच बेटर इन प्लेस ऑफ सी यू आई सी यू आई मीन्स कैरेक्टर यूजर इंटरफेस वेयर ओनली द इनपुट एंड आउटपुट एवरी थिंग इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स वर्ड सेंटेंसेज नुमेरल्स राइट बट इन जी यू आई मोड एज यू कैन सी ऑन द डेस्क टॉप ऑफ योर स्क्रीन इट इज कम्प्लीटली जी यू आई इन द विंडोज देर इज ए माई कंप्यूटर आईकॉन देर इज एन अदर माई डॉक्यूमेंट आईकॉन एंड अदर आईकॉन्स अदर सॉफ्टवेयर आईकॉन्स दैट वी डू नेटवर्क एंड ऑल तो वो जो आईकॉन्स होते हैं उसको समझने में आसानी होती है इसी तरह से जी यू आई के कंट्रोल्स में आप इनपुट दें कहाँ क्लिक करना है उसमें बटन लगा लीजिए टेक्स्ट एरिया है बड़ा मैसेज देना है टेक्स्ट एरिया में डाल दीजिए छोटा मैसेज देना है टेक्स्ट फील्ड में डाल दीजिए सो जी यू आई प्रोग्रामिंग इज बेटर फार बेटर देन सी यू आई प्रोग्रामिंग दैट इज मच मोर अंडरस्टैंडेबल बिकॉज इट हैज गॉट अ विजुअल इफेक्ट सो इट सपोर्ट्स जी यू आई प्रोग्रामिंग थ्रू टी के एंटर लाइब्रेरी एम्पल अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ लाइब्रेरी लार्ज नंबर ऑफ लाइब्रेरीज आर स्टैंडर्ड लाइब्रेरीज आर अवेलेबल टू सॉल्व द टास्क टू डू वेराइटीज ऑफ टास्क syntax highlighting it allows to distinguish between input output and error messages by different color code alag alag aapko color code aayenge agar aapka koi ye keyword hai alag word se aayega alag color se aayega koi normal expression hai user defined hai koi error messages hai so all these are uh, coming out with different colors so they can be easily differentiated so syntax highlighting is a uh, very important feature of uh, i mean advantage of python thereafter disadvantages of python you can see in disadvantages speed first of all python is slower than c c++ so speed is slow mobile development mobile application or uh, uh, is not uh, a very python is not a very good language for mobile application development right memory consumption python is not a good choice for memory intensive task uh, because uh, of data types iske data type aise hote hain ki kabhi to string hai kabhi integer ban jata hai kabhi jo hai wo double ban jayega so it will unnecessarily consume lots of memory space jab wo double hoga to zyada space cover karega memory mein jab integer hai to thoda kam cover kar raha hai aur koi data type ho gaya aur bada cover kar liya to is tarah se wo already it occupies lots of memory space and thereby it consumes lots of memory space database access python has limitations with database access also run time errors it requires more testing and has errors that only shows up at run time okay so agar iski aur zyada testing karni chahiye thi python ki kai errors aisi hain jo hame run time mein hi pata chal pati hain usse pehle pata nahi chal pati hain to this is one of the drawback of uh, python language so this is advantage and disadvantage aur python jo hai wo kya use karta hai interpreter use karta hai aur do mode mein python mein kaam kiya ja sakta hai ek interactive mode that is called as shell mode and another one is i mean uh, script mode where you can uh, write a program just like in a notepad area and uh, uh, after typing the program you can save it out that uh, we will explain uh, in next video how to work in python how to install and how to work which uh, modes of python are there for working for writing programs and all so that we will study in the next coming video and uh, this much portion was uh, about the introduction of the python if you have well understood what is python and uh, then you can uh, like share and subscribe the video uh, subscribe the channel thank you very much thank you